Hi, I'm Tim. Join me in this video as I will show you how to take an electronic speed control and extend the wires for a unique installation. Let's get to it. This is an absolutely standard electronic speed control. Uh, just it's a standard speed control. It has three electrical connections. This one plugs into the receiver uh, so you can um, uh, apply throttle. The two wires go to the battery, the three wires go to the motor. That's the electronic speed control. The only color that's really important are the batteries, or the ones to the battery. The red is positive, the black is negative, always. If you get that backwards, hitch the positive to the negative on the battery, you will destroy the electronic speed control, guaranteed. It'll just be a puff of smoke. The wires to the motor, there are three of them. They could be any color. The colors don't matter. There's no polarity with these motors. But there could be various installations. We might want the, um, a longer wire length than this for a unique installation. It could be a very long nose moment on a model. It could be on a pylon, like for a seaplane. It could be a very large wing. So the question is, how do you extend these wires for that installation? Because there's a right way and a wrong way. First of all, for the battery, it'll go connect something like this. You'll have some sort of connector that you'll have to solder on for this. The battery side is a side you do not want to extend unless you know exactly what you're doing. The length, these wire lengths combined with the battery are designed to be this length because the electronic speed control understands this distance because the electrical power is on and off as it's giving instructions for the brushless motor to rotate. If this is much longer, there'll be delays in that, the signal won't be interrupted properly, and you'll eventually destroy the electronic speed control over time. If you wish to extend these wires and you know exactly what you're doing, you can add some capacitors for that. I'm not going to get into that here because I, I would never mess around to this side. However, if you do want to extend heavy longer distance, it is perfectly okay to extend the wires on the motor side. I have done extensions up to 12 inches. Um, I believe you can go longer, but there is little to no problem with the extensions on that side. What will happen for that extension? You typically have gold bullet connectors on the end that um, connect here. You can just do this to add the extension to the motor, and that way you will have a longer distance for the motor to the electronic speed control. Should be no issues. So again, to extend the wires, do not do it on the battery side. Perfectly okay to do it on the motor side, and you should be okay. So here is a view of my electronic speed control for the F4 that I'll be putting in with the uh, Park 270 motor. And these are the battery connectors. Also, the um, capacitor that I mentioned before is located right here. That's why the length for the um, battery is so critical. You have to add capacitors, know what you're doing if you're going to extend that. Again, here is the electronic speed control used in the video. You can see that the three wire control, uh, motor controllers uh, wires are here, and you just have to add the uh, bullet connectors to have those to be able to put in. And the same for the battery, polarity, very important. And then you'll have whatever battery connector you're using for your particular model. So in this example, I just want to show you how to minimize interference if you do extend the wires to the motor. So here is the original setup right here. I want to make it longer. I made these three wires. So let me plug those in very quickly. So here is the extension right here through those wires. And what will happen is there could be a little bit of interference as the current runs through these wires. The way to fix that is very simple. What you do is you twist it like this, and you want about three twists per inch. And if you do that the entire length, and just put some tape or something to hold it in place, that will mitigate any effects from the um, interference on this extension right here. So just twist it about three twists per inch and you should be good to go.